Hello, good evening, and welcome to Salina Intermediate School, where tonight on WOSN, we'll bring you a Mercer County volleyball clash between the visiting Coldwater Cavaliers and the home-standing Salina Bulldogs. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside John Dornick, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Salina. And John, two very good volleyball teams going to match up here tonight. This is a great uh, volleyball match here. Everybody's close together. Uh, both teams are very similar record-wise. Uh, Coldwater being the visitors, they're 12 and three. Salina being a home team at 10 and four. Uh, both of them are pretty much at the top of their league. Salina is tied for first with Wapak with a five and zero record. Um, Coldwater is uh, tied for second with New Bremen and Versailles with a four and one record. Marion Local leads the MAC with a 5-0 record. So, uh, Garrett, we look like we should be in for an exciting match tonight. And when you look at Coldwater, you know, they're flying pretty high. Um, they've won, I think, like nine or uh, They started off 0-2 at their own Invitational, but then rattle off, you know, 10 wins in a row. Fall New Bremen in four, which uh, a, a lot of schools are going to lose to New Bremen in volleyball. But other than that, 12-3. and three, uh, and, and this is going to be a good test for them playing a school up a division, a Western Buckeye League school. It should be competitive, but this is kind of a measuring stick thing for Coldwater tonight, isn't it? It is very good, very good measuring stick. It also helps that uh, in talking to uh, Nick, Coach Nicky Etzler from uh, Coldwater, they have uh, Risley, Riley Rissmiller back tonight, which is their uh, big 6'5 uh, opposite player. So she'll be on the right side for him blocking against uh, Salina's number one hitter. So uh, that always helps to get somebody that six foot five back on the floor for you. Yeah, you, and it'll be the first sets that Riley Rissmiller has played of the entire season. And does, does that, it, you know, it's, it, it can be both a blessing and a curse. Is that an excitement for her that maybe she's a little fresher than some other players out here, or is it, or, or do you expect maybe some rust in that as well? I think she's been around long enough playing uh, varsity basketball, varsity volleyball here for the last couple of years. That although she hasn't been playing, talking to uh, Coach Etzler, uh, she's been practicing hard and looked very good in practice. So you never know what you're going to get out of the first uh, match of the year but she's expecting uh, her to fit right in. We got a jam-packed crowd here tonight at Salina uh, Intermediate School, which you, you love to see that uh, if you're gonna get high quality volleyball action like we're gonna get on this Tuesday night, we got a packed house and we're certainly looking forward to a fantastic matchup. Salina in their white uniforms while Coldwater will be in the black short sleeve uniforms as we get set to go here in set number one between the Coldwater Cavaliers and the Salina Bulldogs. Again, I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside John Dornick, and we'll get you all the great volleyball action tonight here as we're scoreless on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. So the Bulldogs will serve first, and they'll send out Sarah Gieske to serve first. And she'll let her fly. And a nice block there by Ava Kanaki. But it's a point for the Cavaliers on the left. Ball came down off the block just a little bit, stuck on her arms, bringing it up. So uh, our one Mary Alvarez uh, said there was prolonged contact there. So Madison Wendell will serve for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Ball's received by the Bulldogs. And a big swing there from Brooklyn. Ball Bourne is down, and we're tied at one. And really, John, you take a look at the uh, Salina really likes to spread the wealth. They got Amelia Lutz, Brooklyn Bourne, who both average uh, very close to three three kills per set. That you know they're not just a, a one-dimensional one person you've got to focus on. No, they've got uh, two people over 100 kills, and uh, Ava Kanapke's right at there at 100 at 96. So. Uh, they do spread the wealth around. Swing from Lutz is long, and that makes it 2-1 Coldwater there after Amelia Lutz just sent it just a bit too long there for the Bulldogs down that far line. Looks like Morgan Blasingham will be back to serve for the Cavaliers. She sends that serve a bit long, and we're tied at two. This is kind of an odd gym to play in tonight here. Uh, Garrett, looks like uh, the fans are awful close, the walls are awful close, so it kind of takes an optical illusion for it, the players to get used to. Yeah, and you only get the fans on the one side, so it, it, it maybe like spatial awareness is a, little, is a little off compared to other gyms as the serve sent from Samantha Jenkins. 
And a big swing from the Cavaliers is long. Spencer Etzler, the attempt. Solana takes their first advantage of 3-2. Jenkins will continue to serve. She's a 5'7 senior. Rissmiller tries to send one down. Kept alive by the Bulldogs. Ball ping-pongs around. Coldwater just can't quite get it over. Nice effort there by the Cavaliers to even get an attempt at that third hit to get it over the net, but uh, Salina extends the lead to two. Garrett, we were talking about Salina spreading the wealth around. Uh, Coldwater's got three players of well over uh, 100 kills themselves. Spencer Etzler, the kill attempt, but it's dug out by Brooklyn Bourne, and down! Big play there Miley by Sapp. Miley Sapp, a six-foot sophomore. Gets the point, and it's a three-point advantage now for the Bulldogs. Garrett, both these squads have uh, really fine setters tonight. And then the service ace, Samantha Jenkins, continues the, the point scoring rally here for the Bulldogs at 6-2. And, and you're, you're right, John, that uh, Peyton Berkey for Salina and Mi Mia Kanapke uh, both uh, get, getting uh, the lion's share of their assists for, for both squads. Yeah, Peyton Berkey leads uh, Salina with 419 kills. Mia Kanapke um, leads uh, Coldwater with 326. But we also throw Jenna Lugers in there to get in her round of assists also. Coldwater stops the bleeding for a moment as Kanapke now will serve. The 5'8 freshman puts it right in the middle of the floor. Bulldogs able to send it back over. No, they're not. Amelia Lutz sends it right back into the net. And Coldwater, just like that, has cut that lead down to two. So Kanapke will send it away once again. Received by the Bulldogs. Quick set. And a swing from Miley Sapp. Saved by the Cavaliers. He'll send it over to Lutz. Tip. And down. 7-4 the lead now for the Bulldogs on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Double block was set up just a little late that time, and it was blocked off the high hands out of bounds. John, there's probably not many gyms outside of Salina really that, you know, serving your your back is to the wall before you can really even get into the serve, isn't it? It's tough for these girls to uh, to get used to a gym this side. And the, the line judge here along our end of the court wasn't able to see where the where the ball was because she was so afraid that it was it was coming right at her. And, it um, was coming right at her. It, it, it she was, was getting out of the way. I think we had a better view of it. So the Cavaliers continue to serve. Lutz the swing and down. A big swing air for Amelia Lutz, the 5'9 senior. Averages three kills per sack. Got one there to extend the lead out to three. Amelia Lutz going back to serve. She is second on the squad with 31 aces, so she knows her way around the back line there. She'll send it to the Cavaliers. Received by Etzler. A swing blocked by the Bulldogs. Libero, Allison Schwederman sets up. Brooklyn born and she gets a kill of her own to make it 9-5. Both these teams look like they're uh, swinging at the ball pretty well tonight already. Surf put back down and over by Sapp. Swing from Coldwater, saved by Lutz. Sapp gets another swing at it. It's sent back up in the air by the Cavaliers. Sapp just pats, pats the ball out of the air like a cat. And the ball is down after the big swing from Spencer Etzler to make it 9-6. Spencer Etzler is the kind of the do-everything girl for the Coldwater yeah. Cavaliers. So le she's leads in kills, leads in digs, leads in serving aces. She, she, yeah. And just a sophomore as well. Yeah, and right up there in blocks also. So she's been around. Madison Wendell will serve and put it right into the net for the Cavaliers to make it 10-6 Bulldogs. The daughter of a couple coaches, so, uh, you know, she's been around the gym since she's probably been a toddler. 10-6 the score as Allison Sweeterman sends it away for the Cav or for the Bulldogs, excuse me. Big swing off of Bulldog and down as Jenna Loigers gets the kill for the Cavaliers to cut that lead back down to three. Let's see who can go on the longest run tonight here, Garrett. Williams, the 5'9 senior, will send it away. Got that one right down the line. Tough ball to receive, but Bulldogs get it back over. Cavaliers set up their offense. Rissmiller down the line. 
off a Bulldog and out. The score state will try to punch that one back to towards the, the, the court for the Bulldogs, but nonetheless, that's a point for Coldwater ah. and cuts that lead back down to two. Peyton Berkey did a nice job. She made something out of a little bit of nothing on that time. Sir from Loigers. Bulldogs trying to set up Bourne down the line, and she got the kill. Brooklyn Bourne averages two and a half, a little bit between two and a half and three ki kills per set. She gets the kill there, make it 11 8. Sarah Gisagi back in the uh, Bulldog lineup to serve tonight. She started things off here for the Bulldogs. They'll still send it away. Received by the Cold Water Libero. Riss Miller down the line, left it a bit long, and it's another point for the Bulldogs. So after falling behind early in this set, John Salina has really kind of taken advantage there after about the 4-2 mark, and, and they've held a pretty steady advantage since then. Both teams are moving the ball around here. Long swing from Coldwater's number 14, Madison Wendell. Long, and, and uh, they've hit it long a couple of times. And, uh, well, they'll take their first time out. We'll step aside as well when we return. We'll talk about this first set, 13-8 the score between Coldwater and Salina here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. As Salina leads Coldwater 13 to eight, and John, uh, Coldwater's left a couple just a bit long. Is that maybe part of that getting used to th this uh, unique court that, th that they're playing on? That ha might have something to do with it, Garrett. I just think the unforced errors here, once they clean those up a little bit, this is gonna turn into a heck of a match. Quick set down for Ava Kanapke of Salina. Extends that lead back out to six, 14 to eight. Uh, that quick set might have caught the Cavaliers off guard just a hair. I think Peyton uh, Berkey moves that ball around. She shoots it out, quick sets it to the side. Um, Coldwater's gonna have to adjust their blocking scheme to uh, make that better. Is that one of those things that takes a little longer than, than people might think from a senior center? Uh, it, it's all about timing, Garrett. As soon as we can get that in. There's the campfire shot right in there. Just <laughs> dumped it over the net right around the circle of all the Salina Bulldogs there. Man Madison Wend Wendell gets the, the tip kill. Not thunderous, but it still counts for a point nonetheless. And she'll serve now for the ladies in black. And she'll get the service ace as the Bulldogs send it over, but out of play. And it's 14-10 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Madison Wendell, just a junior, but she's been around a long time, played a lot of volleyball for the Cavaliers. Ball set up to the outside, swing from Bourne, sent right back to her, couldn't get it back up and over, and Coldwater's on a little run here, cutting the lead to three. Brooklyn Bourne, uh, they list her at 5'8", uh, 5'9", five, five, and uh, she's going up against a six-foot-five blocker, so <laughs> she might have to adjust just a little bit. Probably the first time, I would say, as uh, the volleyball comes here through our WOSN cameras, but uh, cold water, another point. And, and really, you, I mean, you probably count on one hand how many times uh, Salina Bulldog has seen a 6'5 you know, opponent throughout, throughout uh, their careers. 6'5 girls uh, in the high school level are uh, not very, very well known. Wendell, nice the serve pass. once again. Big swing there from Ava Kanapke. And just like that, after the block, it's down to a one-point advantage for the Bulldogs. So timeout well spent there by Nikki Etzler for Coldwater. And just like that, the ball goes long. Salina gets that lead back out to two. Brooklyn Bourne, a 5'8 senior, will serve for the Bulldogs. Received by the Cavaliers. They got a net violation on the setter there. The pass was kind of a little tight and backed her into the net. So just that little tickle of the twine there makes it 16-13 between the Bulldogs and Cavaliers. Solana with the advantage. Tip down the line, saved by Bourne of Salina. They'll set up Lutz on the far side, saved by the Cavaliers. Rachel Schroyer, free balled over. And they'll set up Kanapke for the quick set. Cavaliers save it, and they'll just set it right back over. 
That was a great job by Rachel Schroyer getting that ball up. Cavaliers rally, gonna get it over, they do not. Nearly a net violation there, wasn't well, it, John, by the Bulldogs? That yeah. ball didn't look like it was going to get close to over. They wanted to make sure, but uh, got dangerously close to a violation. Yeah, Peyton Berkey was going up trying to, if that ball would have came over, she'd have blocked her right back down. So the Cavaliers, big kill there by Morgan Blasingame. Right in the middle of that front line there for the Cavaliers. That's a thunderous kill for Blasingame, a 5'10 sophomore. She gets the kill and gets to serve. She'll still send it away, just over the top of the net. Bulldogs, Lutz swings off of a Cavalier and down. 18-14, Bulldogs with that four-point advantage. Samantha Jenkins back on to serve for the Bulldogs. Set by Kanapke, big swing from Etzler is down. Spencer Etzler got all of that one. Cuts the lead to three, 18-15. And to her league leading, to her, her uh, team leading totals right now. That's a big kill by Spencer Etzler. And now it looks like Mia Kanapke, the setter for Coldwater will serve. Got it over. Swing attempt there from Miley Sapp, rejected. And it's I like 18, this. 16. I like this quick offense running by Salina here right now. They get the good pass and everything. The offense runs quick. Berkey back set to Sap off of Cavalier remains in play. Etzler will tip it into the middle of the floor, saved by the Bulldogs, and sent over by Lust. She sent it long. She did. Back down to a one-point game here in this first set, 18-17. And a timeout called by the Salina Bulldogs. We'll keep it here. 18-17 between these two. And Coldwater's done a nice job, John, to, to, to climb back in this, being down as, as many as six here in this opening set. Uh, they just keep plugging away. They don't get themselves too worried. Um, they just play the next point as it is. 18-17. And, and really, what's the adjustment here that Salina's talking about after, after seeing Coldwater kind of climb back in this one? I think the uh, Salina would just like to receive serve just a little better. Get that ball, that first pass closer to the net where they can run all three options of the offense. The farther away from the net it goes, the uh, more it limits the offense. Even with a setter like Peyton Berkey, you know, you've got to get that ball closer to the net or inside the three meter line for him to uh, run a complete offense. So the Cavaliers trailing 18-17. After trailing by as many as six here in this opening game. And looks like Mia Kanapke will serve for Coldwater once again. Into the back row. Long run there for Berkey. Lutz, the kill attempt, she left it long. And we are tied at 18. You know, Garrett, that's a sign of a good team, even taking a good pass and being able to run your offense. They get some kind of a swing, even out of the back row there. So Kanapke sends it away once again. Long run for the Bulldogs to get that second hit. Kanapke, swing for Etzler off the Bulldog and down, and Coldwater's got the 19-18 advantage. Keep playing hard, that's what they do. One point at a time. So Mia Kanapke serving, has the Cavaliers back on top. Down the far line. Berkey, big swing from Miley Sapp, and she ties it back up. Wow, Miley Sapp just a sophomore. She uh, looks like she knows her way around the middle of the court there, and she gets a good set, and quick ball, put it on the floor. Peyton Berkey, the lefty sends it away for the Bulldogs, just over the top of the net. That had some mustard on it. Cavaliers come back. Saved by the Bulldogs. Back set off of a Cavalier. Right back down on the floor. It's Evie Holstad, the kill attempt for the Bulldogs. And the point goes to Coldwater, 2019. Looking for Sap. Saved by the Cavaliers. Set over into the back corner. Lutz, the swing, 
Coldwater keeps it alive. Back set from Kanapke. Down. Big kill there by Jenna Loigers. And it's 21-19, Cavaliers. After that timeout that Coldwater took, John, this has been a, a, a almost two different teams we've seen in this first set. All about which coach can make the right adjustments. Ball barely gets over the net. Berkey, back set, Lutz, can't fire. Saved by the Cavaliers. And it's set right back to him. Salina wants the point. They get the point. Might have had a case there. It's that uh, a little discombobulated there after the tip attempt. But nonetheless, Salina gets the point, and they trail by one, 21-20. Lutz, the serve. <laughs> Big swing by Evie Holstad. Drops it in, and we're tied at 21. A little overpass there, and uh, Evie's eyes got big, and she put the ball back down on the floor. So Amelia Lutz serving, looking to give Salina back the advantage. Into the back row. Set by Kanapke. Swing by Loigers. Saved by Salina. Berkey tipped by Bourne. We get a net violation. I think more of a center line violation there, Garrett. Oh, okay. So the point goes to Coldwater. They take the one-point lead. As Lily Sunderhouse will check in for Salina, defensive specialist. Sent over by Coldwater to Sunderhouse. Burke the bump. Swing from Bourne. Right back to her. And it's a two-point lead for Coldwater. I think both teams are really feeling themselves out right here now. Kind of unforced errors by both squads. Coldwater, excuse me, timeout called. We'll step aside. 23-21, Cavaliers with the advantage here on WOSN. Back here at Salina, tonight's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer. County Athletics. Coldwater nursing a 23-21 lead over Salina. Trying to close out set number one here. As they'll serve it away. It's like Kendra Clooney suit doing the honors right now. Sends it right into the middle of the floor. Berkey back set to Sap. Saved by the Cavaliers. Long swing from Madison Wendell. Ball stays alive for the Bulldogs and just a Bit off there as Holstad had to come outside the antenna to swing at it. And now it's match point, or set point, I should say, for the Cavaliers at 24-21. One thing the hitters have to do is stay behind the ball there. Uh, that ball was off the net, and hitters got to get behind it. Sunderhouse, the dig. Berkey, swing, saved by the Bulldogs. Ball high into the air. Bourne sent right back to her. Out of play, though. And Solana stays alive in set number one, 24-22. That was a nice block by Coldwater. They just got to learn to turn the hands in a little bit to keep it inside the court. So Allison Schwederman will send it away for the Bulldogs. Still set point at 24-22. Swing blocked. Sent back to him. And some sort of violation there. That was four hits called on there. I think okay. uh, our R1 Mary Alvarez might have been blocked out, and she got help from... Uh, there are two. So 24-23 the score. Timeout called by the Cavaliers. We'll remain here. This has been quite the, the opening set. Uh, a couple of runs for both squads here uh, to, to, to keep it pretty tight here as we, we approach the end of this first set. This is a fast-moving set, even though it's 24-23. Both squads uh, get the ball, serve the ball, and uh, the referees or uh, officials are keeping uh, with everything moving. So 24-23 the score as Allison Schwederman serves for the Bulldogs. Libero sends it away. And she leaves it a little short, and that'll do it for set number one. 25-23 the score. Coldwater takes the first set, set to action when we return here on WOSN. Set number two about to get underway after Coldwater takes set number one, 25-23. And 
Uh, looked a little dicey there a couple of times here in a first set for the Cavaliers. Trailed as much by six, but they come back and grab the set first set for themselves. And really, Coldwater, um, they, they've won a lot of set, a lot of matches uh, in three sets. Uh, New Bremen and Wapak in their last eight, the only times that they've gone longer than three, six of their last eight, they've won in three sets. I think uh, right there, Coldwater eliminated their unforced errors at the end of the first set. Coldwater uh, had a few more. Jenna Loigers serves for the Cavaliers. Berkey to set, and the kill for Ava Kanapke of Salina gets them on the board first here in set number two. It's hard to stop that quick set like that. That good pass right there, and that set wasn't a foot above the net. Is there any... Is there anything you can do for that? Or is it just you know, basically you got to read it right away, otherwise you're in trouble? It's a read option deal, whether they're going to the middle or they're going to the outside. So the quicker you can read that, the earlier you can get the block up. Tipped over by the Cavalier. Salina saves. Swing from Bourne off a of Cavalier, nearly into their bench. They'll get it back over. And the call from the official, double hit. Salina coach saw it right away. He, he shouted double, and he was correct. 2 nothing Bulldogs. All those coaches yell for a double hit right <laughs> away. Spoken like a true official. You've heard that a couple times, haven't you? Oh, I know. Blocked and sent right back down. Ava Kanapke, the block for the Bulldogs, and they've got a 3-0 advantage to start set two. Probably few and far between you've heard from the, the, the coaches that you got that one right, didn't you? <laughs> Uh, big swing from the Cavaliers. Sets Schwederman on her seat. Bulldogs get it back over. Kanapke, the set, tipped back over by the Bulldogs. Nobody comes and gets it for the Cavaliers, and it's 4-0 Salina. This is pretty much the way the first set started out here, and then uh, Coldwater came back. Let's see if Salina can keep the momentum going. Brooklyn Bourne will serve, excuse me, uh, Saragiski serves for Salina. Left and long, and it's 4-1 now as Coldwater gets on the board. It looks like uh, Salina just backed up there, starting rotation, one rotation to uh, make sure Sarah was the second server. Madison Wendell sends it over. Up, Bourne tries to send it down the line. Alpha Cavalier in down. And Brooklyn Bourne has two kills in the early going here, set number two. That's why she's uh, number two on the team and hitting there. Now she's up to 120 kills. Bulldogs serving. Bourne. Tucked it just inside the line. How often do you see that, Garrett? They make a good kill and they go back to get the serve and then they get a point right off the serve. So. You get that snowball start rolling downhill where it just keeps building and building and building. But Brooklyn Bourne. This service ace for the Bulldogs. She'll send it away again. Received by the Cavaliers. Kanapke high, set big, swing down the line, punch down by Spencer Etzler to make it 6-2. That was a great shot. I don't think anybody on the Bulldog squad thought she was uh, going to go down the line. So Coldwater sends it away. Ball sent high in the air, all by the setter. And a big kill by Amelia Lutz. Extends that lead back to 5-7-2. Cavaliers will regroup. Samantha, Samantha Jenkins comes on. A standing serve from Jenkins. And the Bulldogs get another point there. What's the call there, John? Yeah, it looks like there was a prolonged contact call. Timeout called by the Cavaliers. We'll step aside as well. Salina, the lead here in set number 282 on WOSN. <laughs> Samantha Jenkins set to serve for the Bulldogs. They lead 8-2 over Coldwater here on WOSN. I'm Garrett C. Wright. Join alongside John Dornick as the Cavaliers set up. Etzler shoots it down the line, and she's got another kill. It's 8-3 as the Cavaliers try to claw back here in set number two. Salinas got their setter, Peyton Berkey, in the front row now, but usually a lot of times that means there's only two hitters, but uh, uh, Miss Berkey's got 53 kills of her own, though, so she's got uh, quite a few kills, and she's even right up there in uh, the blocking, too. So. 
Bertke, the set, Miley Sapp finds the open spot in the Cavalier defense and puts it down and gets that lead back out to six. Peyton Bertke will serve. The Salina setter. 419 of their 519 kills. 412 of their 519 kills, I should say. Big swing from the Cavaliers is out. Try to tuck it inside that far line. And Salina now has their biggest advantage of the set. Bertke, the left-handed swing once again. Etzler. Off of Bourne and down. That's a big thunderous kill for Spencer Etzler. To cut the lead to six. You almost have to get your hands up in front of your face just to protect <laughs> your nose there. I'm sure that feels lovely if you, if you take, take that bad boy to the schnoz. The Cavaliers will send it away. Etzler, the serve. Tip right back down. And a point goes to the Cavaliers. So Spencer Etzler will serve once again. Right down the line, sent up into the air. Bertke to Sapp right in the middle. It's blocked. And another point for the Cavaliers. That time, that quick middle hit there uh, gave the Cavaliers enough time to set up the double block there in the middle. Madison, Wendell, Jenna Ligers combined for the block for Coldwater. Etzler, the serve once again, right down the line. Tough one. Berkey over to Evie Holstad, saved by the Cavaliers. Lutz will swing, blocked, and Coldwater's climb back into this one. After trailing by seven, they've cut the lead to three. After the run here during Spencer Etler's service. Etzler, long, and Salina stops the bleeding there. We talked earlier about Spencer Etzler kind of being the, the do-it-all player there for Coldwater and uh, getting them a couple of points there goes a long way in, in helping keep that moniker. Schwederman, born, standing, gets it over. Left into the open hole for the Cavaliers. Salina lead back out to five. Cavaliers gonna have to pick up their passing game a little bit. Amelia Lutz serves for the Bulldogs. Left it in the net, and Coldwater gets the point. So 12-8 now to score on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Lily Sunderhouse in for uh, Amelia Lutz for defensive purposes. Kendra Clooney sends it long for the Cavaliers on her first attempt. Lead back out to five for the Bulldogs. Salina 10-4 on the season, undefeated in the Western Buckeye League. Salina, or excuse me, Coldwater 12-3, 4-1 in the Midwest Athletic Conference. That's the swing long there by Morgan Blasengame. And Salina stacks back-to-back -back points to make it 14-8. You know, Coldwater was hitting uh, 276 coming into the night here, so uh, this isn't helping them out on that anyways. Kanapke, the kill attempt by Lawyers, saved by the Bulldogs. He'll get it back over. Etzler receives. Kanapke, quick set, down. Salina, leaping and diving, gets it over. As Kanapke, Ava Kanapke, I should say, sends it back over. Saved by the Bulldogs. Bertke, born down the line, and a big point there for the Bulldogs. That was a nice shot right down the line there, Garrett. 15 to 8 now, the Salina lead back out to 7. As they got a discussion between a Coldwater player and an official. And Allison Schwederman will continue to serve for the Bulldogs. I think the Cavaliers thought that ball might have went outside of the net antenna. Etzler, Mia Kanapke, swing by Coldwaters. Jenna Loigers, saved by Salina, and down! Peyton Berkey, the kill, and it's an eight-point lead for the Bulldogs. Our setter swung pretty hard from the back row that time. And when you got that in your repertoire, that's tough to defend. Schwederman, 
Sent over to Etzer. Mia Kanapke. Big swing air for the Cavaliers. As Madison Wendell stops the bleeding to make it 16-9. Madison Wendell got over 130 kills now, so uh, she's not afraid to swing at the ball. Jenna Loigers sends it right into the net. Salina leads 17-9. Things have really gone Salinas' way here in the second, in the middle portion of this second set as they've got that eight-point lead. I'm just surprised at both teams, the unforced errors that we've had so far tonight, Garrett. Speaking of unforced errors, long serve sent by Saragiski. Makes it 17-10. And is, is, is there any rhyme or reason to that? Is it, you know, Tuesday night where you're, you're used to being hyped up and ready for, for a league contest and you're playing on a Tuesday, or is it just one of those things? Could be two good teams playing there. Brooklyn born to kill for Salina. A lot of times the gym has something to do with it. The fans have something to do with it. The girls are all hyped up because it's a big game. Um, there's a number of things that go into that, Garrett. They said Brooklyn born sent it long, so Coldwater gets the point. They'll serve. Burke sends it right down to the floor. Spotted the hole in the Coldwater D and puts it to the deck to eight, make it 18-11. I always told my coaches, if you wanted to get their setters anything for Christmas, get them a left hand, but uh, <laughs> Peyton Berkey's already a left-hander, so uh, she'll get another Christmas present. That left hand on display there as she gets the point. Big swing by Ava Kanapke. She swings the hammer to make it 19-11, Salina. Bulldogs, all the momentum here in this second set. They've got the eight-point lead. Bourne sends it away. Swing from Etzler, sent high into the air. Bertke, Lutz, off a of Cavalier, remains in play. Long ball sent back over. Bertke, quick set, down. Nope, oh, remains in play. So Cavalier is able to get it back over. Berkey to Ava Kanapke. And the point goes to the Cavaliers. Timing just a little bit bad on that quick set there. Been so good all night long, and then they were just a little late getting there that time. Cavaliers center it away. Berkey back set to Kanapke. Sent right back to her. A big block there by Kendra Clooney. Makes it 19-13 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Kendra Clooney leads the Cavaliers in blocks with 46, so uh, she knows her way around there. Sent away once again, right in the middle of that salon of defense. Bertke to Lutz, sent right back to her from Riley Rissmiller. Bertke along the near antenna. Used the right hand on that one. Big swing, saved by the Bulldogs. Nice rally back and forth. Chris Miller tips it, sent back up in the air, sent right back to Coldwater. Ava Kanapke, Peyton Berkey takes a swing at it with the left hand. Ball remains in play, saved by Salina. Allison Schwederman, Lutz cuts it down the line and she drops it in. A big play by Amelia Lutz, makes it 20-13. Amelia lets drop that just beyond the three meter line there. So that's a quite a shot from the outside, left side. So a seven point advantage once again for Salinas. Samantha Jenkins on to serve. Sends it long, Etzler. She'll send it right back to the Bulldogs off of Jenkins and down. That's a big kill for Spencer Etzler. And the lead down to six. One thing about it, the cold water Cavaliers will keep playing hard even though they're down six here late in the second set. Mia Kanapke serves for cold water. Berkey to set. Lutz rejected. Big kill there by Madison Wendell, or excuse me, Kendra Clooney for cold water. She's got a couple of blocks here in the second set. As they cut the lead to five, 2015. Mia Kanapke serves, received by the Bulldogs. Sapp tries to get it down to that back line, can't get it. Tipped by Etzler. Nice save by the Bulldogs, but it's sent right back to the floor by Etzler. And the lead shrinks again to four. 
What a smart play there by Spencer Etzler here. Both double blocks went up. She just directed it clear to the left-hand corner there. Mia Kanapke serves for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Berkey, sap, rejected again by Kendra Clooney, and the lead is down to three. Timeout called by Salina will step aside as well. 2017 here in set number two on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporters of Mercer County Athletics. And you've seen the Salina lead shrink on that Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. John Dornick is cold water climb back in here to make this an interesting second set. Coach making a run at it. Coach Bangy called timeout just to get things straightened out a little bit. Amelia Lutz, the kill attempt for the Bulldogs, sent right back to them. Bulldogs keep it alive and up. Send it just a bit wide. Amelia Lutz not happy with herself, but that's a that's a tough shot to try to tuck inside that line. But the lead down to two. Allison Sweeterman made a nice play on that running away from the court. Bulldogs send it straight in the air. Burtke over to Lutz. Re nearly rejected as Clooney got a lot of it, but it goes out of play. 21-18. Salina gets a much needed point. We keep talking about it, just the technique of blocking that ball, turning those hands inside. Bertke serves for Salina. Ball tipped, pancake. It goes under the net on the attempt there by Evie Holstad, and it's back to a two-point game, 21-19. Cavaliers will send it away, Spencer Atzler. Holstand to swing. Allison Schwederman runs into her bench to save it. Does. Bertke gets it over. Kanapke tipped over by the Cavaliers. Bertke saves it. Schwederman. Holstad tips. And down. Spencer Etzler almost made a nice play on that kind of diving in, uh, trying to bump that ball up. Just couldn't quite get to it. Amelia Lutz serving for Salina. Looking to close out set number two, 22-19. Cavaliers just have to get it over. Do, Burke, Schwederman, Holstad off of the fingertips of a Cavalier. Kanaki, big swing there for the Cavaliers. Sent right back to him. Another swing by Lawyers. Finds the back corner and down, and it's 22-20. Evie Holstead uh, sucked up just a little bit just to uh, try to get the ball off of the block, and uh, they just tipped it over her head back into the right corner. Lily Sunderhaus checks in for Salina. As Kira Kanapke sends it away, and then she gets the service ace. I think the Bulldogs thought that was going to hit the net, and it just barely squeaked past and caught him off guard. I and mean, it's a one-point ball game here in the closing stages. We got her back down to one there, Garrett. 22-21, a timeout called. We'll keep it here. Uh, again, similar to the first set, John, where uh, Salina actually had a, a bigger lead here in set number two than they had in set number one. But Coldwater's climbed right back and made this a super interesting second set. Uh, like we said, there's no quit in the Coldwater Cavaliers. And no matter how far they were down, they just take it one, one uh, rally at a time and just keep picking it up. One point at a time, now we're back to a one point. Coach Bangy had to call his second time out, so uh, we'll see what happens when they come out of it, see who makes the adjustments. And it <laughs> didn't look like they were all that interested in taking the entire 60 seconds, and he, he got what he wanted to get across there in about 30. Uh, and, and sometimes those, those aren't the fun ones if you're a player. Uh, there's just a few things you gotta take. Just move your feet, pass the ball. 22-21, Cavaliers trailing by one, and they'll serve it away. Kira Kanapke doing the honors. Into the back row, received by Schwederman. Bertke, born. Dung out by the Cavaliers. Swing sent back to him by Salina. Sap, that one off of Sap and down, and we're tied at 22. Things aren't going Coach Bangy's way. I think he wanted the four hits on that. So uh, when things aren't going your way, you kind of ask for those things. Kira Kanapke, the freshman, serving for cold water. Saved by Schwederman. Bourne, miss hits on the run. 
As Salina discombobulated from the receive there, and Coldwater's got their first lead of set number two. Wow. 23 22, Cavaliers the advantage. Kira Kanapke. Tough serving again, Garrett. Tough serves. Bertke, sap down. Miley Sapp with the kill. It's all about the pass. That pass was right on. Miley Sapp was right there in the middle to get it and put it away. Six, four, or six foot sophomore ties it at 23 as Allison Schwederman serves for Salina. Received by Etzler. Kanapke. Wendell down. The Ligers, excuse me. Jenna Ligers, the kill. And it's set point for the Cavaliers at 24-23. Riley Rissmiller back in there, so that gives them a little blocking power at the net. Also Morgan Blasingame, a 5'10 sophomore. Ball sent away. Bertke. Bulldogs think it's in, and it is. Ava Kanapke tucks it inside the line, and we're tied at 24. That was a great set. Uh, Peyton Berkey had to run a long way for that ball, and she set the ball behind her for a quick middle. Sarah Gieske serves for the Bulldogs. 24 all. Big swing off the Bulldogs and down, and Coldwater gets another set point. Couldn't quite get those hands pressed all the way over the net there for the block, and it fell on uh, Salina Bulldogs' side. So Madison Wendell serving on set point, 25-24. She'll send it away. Just over the net, Schwederman. Bertke looking for Bourne, sent right back to her, but she digs it out. They'll try to send it long. Cavaliers keep it in play. Bertke sends it to the floor. Bulldog faithful said it was outside the antenna, and we're tied at 25. Nonetheless, Salina gets the point. Garrett, that's where you need your line judges to help out on that. So they're manning antennas and, and lines on the floor? Antennas and line, yes. Bourne sends it away, tied at 25. Tipped right back down to the floor by Amelia Lutz and the Bulldogs now with Matt set point. Advantage Bulldogs. Timeout called by Coldwater. And we'll keep it here at 26-25. <laughs> what, what an entertaining second set. What an entertaining night so far here tonight. But uh, this second set has seen a little bit of everything. And, and, and John, I, I guess I didn't realize that you know, line judges are both responsible for the antenna as well as you know the painted lines on the floor. You know, basically our officials are the one of them stuck up on a ladder and the other one's right over there. On the other side, they can't get a very good look at those. Line judges on each corner are able to move up and down the lines and to see the angle of the ball crossing the net. So basically the line judge that was right in front of the cold or the Salina Bulldogs uh, bench had the best look at that and uh, made no mention of uh, whether the ball was outside of it or not. Gotcha. So set point here for the Bulldogs, leading 26-25 as Brooklyn Bourne will serve. Received by the Cavaliers. And a violation there on set point gives Salina the 27-25 game. So each team with one set in their pocketbook will step aside. Third set action coming up on WOSN. Set number three about to get underway here between Coldwater and Salina. Each squad with a set in their back pocket. And Salina led by as many as eight there in set number two before having to be pushed to 27-25 win in set number two. And uh, it really, it, when you get to set three and everybody's got one, John, it, it certainly makes things awful interesting here in set number three and set number four. This is a very important set. Each time, each uh, squad wants to take uh, the advantage going into uh, the next set. So I think everybody should be leveled out right now. We've each got one under our belts. We've had unforced errors. Let's just sit down, relax, play some volleyball. And I'm looking for a good set right here, Garrett. Sarah Gieske will serve for Salina to begin set number three. Keeps it inside the lines. 
Long swing here for the Cavaliers is out. At the first point of set number three goes to Salina. Gieske sends it away once again. In the middle of the back row. Swing. Hits the floor for Jenna Loigers. And we're tied at one. One for two to start out uh, the match for Jenna Loigers. As Spencer Etzler will serve for Coldwater. Leads in service aces. Berkey. Tucked inside by Brooklyn Bourne. Big swing rejected by Ava Kanapke of Salina. And that's a 2-1 advantage for the Bulldogs. Ava Kanapke is the number one blocker for uh, the Salina Bulldogs with 35, and she's added to that total a bunch tonight. Brooklyn Bourne serving for the girls in white. Mia Kanapke, big swing there by Loigers, down. Jenna Loigers, just under three and a half kills per set. She's got two of Coldwater's two in set number three. Kiera Kanapke comes in to serve for Coldwater. Just a freshman, gets it in that back row. Berkey tips it over, a heck of a play there by Berkey as the Cavaliers send one, hits the net. Berkey finds a soft spot in that Coldwater D and it hits the floor and they've got a one point advantage again. Garrett being left-handed, even though whether she's running towards the ball, she's got a good, uh, powerful swing coming from that left arm. And we saw her in that second set able to use that right hand as well when uh, when push came to shove and, and when it became a necessity, she's got that in her, in her back bag as well. Very athletic. Kanapke, the serve. Swing by Coldwater's Morgan Blasingame is wide. And Salina with a two-point advantage here in set number three. Jenkins will serve once again. Into that back left corner. Kanapke sets up Blasing game. Dug out by the Bulldogs. Sapp had to go up and climb the ladder to get it. She did. Tip right back at him, though, from the Cavaliers. Lutz, the high, long hit. And that's a point for Coldwater. I think Salinas made an effort here to uh, just go with that single block in the middle here and back off their wings to uh, help with the defense. So Kanapke, Kira Kanapke will continue to serve for Coldwater. Into the back row, in the middle. Burt King, Lutz has to just slap it over off a of Cavalier and down. Lead back out to two for, Cold, for Salina. Not sure quite what happened on that one. I don't think anybody was really ready to play the ball. Peyton Burke serving for the Bulldogs. Riss Miller tries to send it to the floor, dug out by Bourne. Lutz, the kill down the line, tucked it inside the line. And Salina doubling up Coldwater here in set number three, six to three. Amelia Lutz does it again. Timeout called. We'll step aside as well. Six to three, the score in set number three here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard on WOSN is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And the scoreboard reads six to three, Salina with the advantage as Bulldogs will send it away. Bulldogs starting off just like they did the first two sets here. Now let's see if they can just keep uh, keep everything going. Coldwater tries to get it back over, and they do. Look for the set for Holstad off a of Cavalier. Sent right back to Sapp. Trying to find a hole in the D. Allison Schwederman there. Holstad tips off a of Cavalier and down. Once again, Salina lead back out to four, seven to three. Heavy Holstead got that kill, but you can uh, give an assist there to uh, Peyton Berkey there. That was a great set. Coldwater only had half a block on that. The blocker didn't quite get out. Berkey sends it away for Salina. Big swing here for Madison Wendell. They get the point, 7-4 for Coldwater. 
I think for the first ball over there, they're letting Madison Wendell set back out there on the right side instead of bringing uh, Riley Rissmiller back out there. Rissmiller playing for the first time this season, the 6'5 senior. Burt Kink, the set, Holstad tips. Set back up by Coldwater. Rissmiller down the line. She got it inside the line. For the kill, 7-5. You can tell she's a little rusty, but even rusty at six foot five, you know she's still a great player. Wendell will serve. Schwederman sends it into the bleachers. And like we've seen Coldwater do a couple of times, they've climbed back into this set to cut the lead down to one. Both these teams, uh, Garrett, are uh, strong serving teams, so I guess there is a risk reward aspect of this whole deal. Wendell. Another tough receive there by Salina. They'll get it over as Lutz gets it. Big swing dug out by Schwederman. Lutz, the swing. Coldwater pokes it back up in the air and the point for the Bulldogs. Both teams playing great defense so far. Eight to six, Salina with a two-point advantage and set number three, both squads with one under their belt. Lutz. Swing from Etzler. <laughs> She's got just such a powerful right hand there uh, to send it to the floor, and it's back to 8-7. You know, I always wondered why more there isn't any more broken fingers are than there uh, <laughs> with as hard as these girls hit the ball. Burke sent to Bourne. Down the line. Got it. Coldwater adamant. But the point should go to them. There we go. We got the far uh, line judge saying the ball hit the antenna. So the far official says it's out. That's where our line judges can really help us out with the net antenna or the uh, antennas. So we're tied at eight instead of it being nine seven. Schwederman, the receive. Burt King, Holstad sent right back to her by Madison Wendell. Joust for it at the net. Riss Miller. Schwederman able to keep it in. Burke, Bourne, rejected. Bourne, or Burke, excuse me, sets up Sapp and she tucks it inside the line. Miley Sapp, the six foot sophomore, has had a couple of thunderous kills for Salina here so far. Allison Schwederman will serve. Received by the Cavaliers. Etzler tips it down. Spencer Etzler, the kill. The volleyball IQ of Spencer Etzler is off the charts here. She's got us tied at nine after the poke. And then a service ace for Coldwater gives them the advantage. It's amazing you serve long, long, long and then drop that one in short. Berkey. Big swing there by Ava Kanapke. Caught the Cavalier defense off guard, and Ava Kanapke gets the kill for Salina. That quick set just doesn't let uh, Coldwater set up their blocking scheme. Sarah Gieske back in to serve for Salina. Sidewinder. Poked up in the air. Big swing for the Cavaliers. Tipped over by Brooklyn Bourne. Out. And it's 11-10 cold, or 11-10 Salina, excuse me. Kieski with the serve again. Mia Kanaki to set. Big swing from Spencer Etzler on Friederman and down. Tied once more. Not much you can do on that one, is there? When it's I'm coming that hard at you. I'm glad I'm over here on the other side of the floor. <laughs> oh, that was a great swing by Spencer Etzler. You know, they talk about exit velocity in baseball a lot. I, uh, the exit velocity of that, uh, that kill is uh, coming in hot. Cavaliers tip. Burke pokes it back up in the air. They'll send it over to Bourne. Brooklyn Bourne dug out by Coldwater. Off of a... Bulldog blocking out. Salina gets the one-point advantage. 12-11. Amelia Lutz back in to play the front row here. 
Brooklyn born serving for Salina. With that one point advantage. Cavaliers rejected by Ava Kanapke. She leads them in blocks. She got another one there, 13-11. That's Brooklyn Bourne. Will serve once again. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Mia Kanapke, back set to Wendell. Berkey sends it over to Lutz. Dug out by Coldwater. Sent over. Berkey found the spot in the Cavalier D. They're able to poke it around for just a hot second, but can't get it back over. And the lead extends for Salina. You now you can't really uh, tell whether Peyton Berkey's going to take that ball over there. She's doing a great job of being deceptive with what her intentions are as Kanapke. Sets up Wendell, trying to tuck it inside the line, and it's rejected by Kendra Clooney of Coldwater. And they get their first point there in a hot second. Cuts the lead to two once again. Kira Kanapke in to serve for Coldwater. Had several aces coming in to tonight. Allison Schwederman sends it back over. Kanapke tipped. Bertke nearly had it blocked off a couple Cavaliers. They'll get it back over. Born, Bertke, Lutz, dug out by Coldwater. Set from Kanapke. Great chance there by Morgan Blasingame. Great rally from both sides as Coldwater sends it back over. Schwederman gets it up. Saved by Salina, and they get it back over. Quick set, and down! Morgan Blasingame, a big kill there for Coldwater. Great effort from both sides, but Blasingame sends it to the floor to cut the lead to one. Boy, that defensive possession by both squads there is worth the price of admission for everybody tonight. A couple different times you wondered how in the world are they going to get it over each side. They did. Berkey sends it over off of Jenna Loigers and down to extend the lead back out to two. Jenna Loigers knew that was coming, and Peyton Berkey still put it on the floor. Samantha Jenkins back on to serve for Salina, the 5'7 senior. As we got a little perspiration on the floor after all the leaping and diving by the Salina Bulldogs. So I mop that up. I can't believe anybody would be sweating tonight here <laughs> now. Now that it's 60 degrees every day. <laughs> oh, these both teams are playing very hard. So Jenkins, the standing serve. Kanapke, big set by, or big kill by Morgan Blasingham. Great set by Mia Kanapke to set her up, makes it 15-14. Salina will rotate a couple of folks out as Libero, Allison, Schwederman back in. It's amazing just what a couple of seconds will do to whether the bot gets up or whether it doesn't. Bertke, Lutz, got it. Salinas hitters seem to be moving the ball all the way across the back line, so they're not just hitting one shot, they're using all of them. Well, and you can see when, when Peyton Berkey has, you know, kind of time to set that up, Coldwater's got to, you know, cover the entire floor because they don't know if she's going to back set, if she's going to set up the outside hitter, if she's going to send it over herself, and that's quite the weapon there as the Cavaliers get the point. Shrinking that lead back down to one. As long as we can make that good pass, we can uh, run all of our offense. That's what all the coaches like to see. Coldwater, Madison Wendell serves down this near line. Bertke, Sapp tips it over. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Riss Miller cuts it down the line. Big save by Bertke. Lutz gets the kill. She got it all the way back into that back row. Cavaliers nearly got it back over, but the lead back out to two for Salina, 17-15. I'm glad, I bet the Cavaliers are glad to see Amelia Lutz rotate into the back <laughs> row. Lutz serving now. Through the fingertips of Rachel Schroyer, and that's an ace for Lutz. Lead now three for Salina. 
They just keep plugging away. Coldwater comes back, ties it up. Bulldogs keep going back ahead. Dug out by Coldwater on the serve from Lutz. Big swing from Spencer Etzler inside the line, and the sophomore gets another kill. 18-16 the score now as Lily Sunderhouse back in for Salina. The defensive specialist. Linda will serve. Nope, she will not. She'll give it back for Coldwater. We got a stoppage in play. Now we're ready to get going. Uh, maybe. That, I think that's Morgan Blessing game back there. If I can see through the official stand. Well, and we got now the officials say we're good to go. I'll send it away. Schwederman. Brooklyn Bourne cuts it down. Set up. Etzler. The tip. Burtke back set to Holstad. Nearly found a hole in the D. Cavaliers keep it alive. Big swing. It dug out by Salina. And they'll send it right back to the floor. No, they won't. Ball still alive. Swing by Etzler. Out. The official, well, the official up here says we had a tip. I think they thought that the ball was uh, not in the plane of the net, and Riley Rissmiller went across the net to play the ball. What the R1 saying is the ball did break the plane of the net, so Riley could go in and get it. So it's 18 17 now as Bertke sets up Bourne. She tucks it inside the line to extend that lead back out to 2 19 17. So Allison Schwederman, little Barrow serving for Salina. Into the back row, dug out by Etzler. Set up, she'll swing it. Schwederman, dig, Berkey set, born to kill, no. That's a double hit. 2017 now the score. As the ball comes in on WOSN camera crew and a timeout call will step aside as well. 2017 to score. Salina leads in set number three. Both teams at one apiece here on WOSN. Salina looking to close out Coldwater here in set number three. They lead 20 to 17. We've seen the Cavaliers fight back in each of the first two sets, taking set number one, while Salina, taking set number one, I should say, 25-23. Salina won set number two, 27-25. Allison Schwederman, the 5-3 junior, serving for Salina. Dug out by Spencer Etzler. She'll swing it back. Tipped back up in the air by the Bulldogs, and Lily Sunderhouse couldn't send it back over. She had a, a long way to run there, and didn't have a whole lot of notice that she was going to be the one trying to get it back over on the third hit. And it drinks the lead to two. Rachel Schroyer serving for Coldwater. And she gets the ace to cut the lead to one. Coldwater starting to serve the ball tough. Schroyer a 5-5 junior. Or excuse me, that's Mia Kanaki. Mia Kanaki serving. Brooklyn Bourne dug out by Wendell. Etzler, the attempt, blocked by Ava Kanapke. Sunderhouse keeps it alive. Holstad sends it back over for Salina. Swing. Saved by the Bulldogs. Brooklyn Bourne sent right back to her, but the Bulldogs keep it alive. Holstad cuts it across the court. Tip back up. Saved by the Bulldogs. Brooklyn Bourne. Sent it a little too far. Berkey had to try to go under the net to get it, and we're tied at 20. Garrett, both these squads getting into uh, great base positions on defense. That's allowing them to play the great defense we've seen a lot tonight. So Kanaki continues to serve. That one hits the net. Gives Salina the one-point advantage. Sarah Kieske back on to serve for the Bulldogs. That one point advantage. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Big swing. Schwederman saves it. Brooklyn Bourne. 
Saved by the Cavaliers. Back set. Down. Jenna Loigers, the kill, ties it back up at 21. And John, this is the, the third time we've seen Coldwater, you know, trail early in a set or have to claw back. But they've, they've done it each, each time. That's disheartening to see, you know, the ball keeps uh, going over the net, coming right back at you. <laughs> Berkey, back set, tipped over by Ava Knapke, dug out by the Cavaliers. Coldwater can't get it over as Madison Wendell tried to tip it, give the one-point lead to Salina. It's getting too late in the set here for unforced errors here. Now we're going to have to clean it up, both squads. Brooklyn Bourne will serve for Salina. It's a couple of dribbles in. He jumps it away. Kanapke, big swing there from Jenna Loigers, long, and Salina extends the lead to two. Bulldogs, one set, two, 27-25 after falling in set one, 25-23. Two-point lead now, make it a one-point lead after the service error by Brooklyn Bourne cuts it to 23-22. Johnny just mentioned we got we got, got to clean those up, and I'm sure that's not what Phil Bangy wanted to see from, from his Bulldog server. Not at that point in the set. So the Cavaliers send it away. Berkey, the set for Lutz off the fingertips of a Cavalier, stays in play. Nice dig, Berkey tipped over, Kanapke had it rejected. They somehow keep it alive, and the official along the far side will say it's a double hit. I'll show, we're gonna get a conference here and discuss this. I don't know what the R2, I think blew her whistle here for something. So we'll see what the call is from these two officials, 23-22. The score. Is that an inadvertent whistle? I think so. So, score remains 23-22. Boy, that's tough. The girls are playing their hearts out. Ball sent away. Dug out by Brooklyn Bourne. Berkey, big swing, rejected. Berkey, another set. Schwederman has to send it over. Set from Kanapke. Salina able to dig that out. Schwederman to Lutz. Saves it. Set. Sent back over by Salina. Berkey tries to tip it down. Saved by Spencer Ensler. Swing from Loigers. Saved once again. Cuts it down the line. Berkey. Long hit. Salina adamant that it was tipped. And the official agrees. Cavaliers can't believe it. Salina. Everybody wearing white was immediate that that was tipped. I think we got the call from the back uh, line judge back here that there was a tip. So it's set point for the Bulldogs at 24-22. So the Bulldogs looking to close out set number three. Samantha Jenkins. Kanapke the set. Loigers off of the Bulldogs off the wall and Coldwater remains alive here in set number three. Yeah, and I don't know what gym we were playing in, Garrett, but that would have been out <laughs> anywhere. 24-23, <laughs> Coldwater serving to stay Jenna alive. To serve here. Let's see if we can get it to go to extra points. Berkey tried Good to tip play. it over, saved. Out of play by the Cavaliers and Salina. Win set number three, 25-23. Break inning action. We'll step aside as well. Set number four upcoming in this Mercer County Volleyball Clash here on WOSN. Set number four about to get underway here between Salina and Coldwater. Hold on to the 2-1 advantage after taking sets two and three. And congratulations to Peyton Berkey. Uh, she got her 500th career dig there in set number three. So that's always a, a fun accomplishment to celebrate. John, what did 
Coldwater head coach Nikki Essler try to address in her in her break there between sets three number four with the Cavaliers that, to, to try to get them back on track and get a win here in set number four. Cut out unforced errors here, Garrett. I mean, but if we can do that, they're playing good defense. They're serving tough, you know, but too many just unforced errors. So Mia can, or excuse me, uh, Spencer Etzler will serve to get things going here in set number four. For Coldwater, tipped up. Big swing from Brooklyn Bourne. Out of play off the Cavaliers and Salina for the fourth time tonight starts set number starts the set with the advantage. I think Coach Etzler wanted her best server to start out this uh, fourth set here just to see if they could get on a roll here and uh, the block was uh, just out of bounds. Sarah Gieske serving for Salina. Big swing, tip back up. Gonna go out of play though as Lily Sunderhouse took the brunt of that one and a kill goes to the Cavaliers and we're tied at one. Madison Wendler got a nice swing on that ball. Kira Kanapke, the 5'10 freshman serving Fort Coldwater. Into the back row, right corner, Burke The set, swing from Bourne off the Cavaliers and down. Blocker's got to press over the net. Get that ball to stay on the other side instead of letting it drop down the front of you. Bourne after the kill will serve for Salina in their white uniforms. And she'll send it away with the right hand. Dug out by the libero. Mia Kanapke, swing by Wendell high into the rafters. Salina able to play it off the rafters and Bourne sends it down. Kanapke to set, swing from Lawyers high into the air. Saved once again by the Bulldogs. Bourne will send it over. Off the antenna and down, and the point goes to Coldwater. One thing the slide intermediate gym has is a pretty high ceiling. <laughs> it's got, it can go up fair ways. That it can. Lawyers will send it away. Right in the middle of that back row. Burke the set. Swing from Lutz. Powerful swing, but it's dug out by the Cavaliers. Lawyer sends it back over. Burke set. Swing from Ava Kanapke into the cold water bench. She gets the kill, and it's 3 2 Salina. Ava Kanapke did a nice job there. She took that quick set and moved the ball instead of just hitting it straight away. She cut the ball off uh, to her left. Samantha Jenkins back on to serve for Salina. Swing from Riss Miller down the line, saved by the Bulldogs. Lutz blocked by Riss Miller. Bourne, Lutz, saved by the Cavaliers. Sends it back over. Bourne, Bertke, sap inside the line. That's a lot of work there here, Garrett, trying to get the timing down on that. Slime has got another nice job. Miley Sapp with two kills per set for the Bulldogs. Got one there, making it 4-2 in set number four. Dug out by Schroyer. Big swing. Dug out by Bourne. Lutz sends it long, and a point goes to Coldwater. So Cavaliers cut the lead to one. It's Madison like Wendell, sir. That's what we've been saying all night here. Coldwater's <laughs> been trying to cut into the lead, cut into the lead. Cavaliers 12 and 3 on the season. Salina 10 and 4. Bulldogs undefeated in the Western Buckeye League. Coldwater, one loss in Mac play. Big swing rejected by Morgan Blossingham. Back row attack from Brooklyn Bourne here, and uh, Morgan Blossingham read that very well. So Wendell serves once again, tied at four. Sends it long. <laughs> Uh, the return by Salina goes over and one. Big swing here from Blazing Game. Burke Sap down. Miley Sap second kill of the set gives Salina the advantage five to four. Both squads are running a quick attack there on that one. Pete and Burke will come and serve for Salina, who got her 500th dig there in set number three. Swing from Etzler down the line. 
Nice smart shot. Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it. Just poked it right down to where, where nobody was. Just a foot and a half inside the, on the sideline. You know, the old baseball adage is hit it where they ain't. It's pretty close to the same thing here in volleyball, isn't it? Cut down by Coldwater, Schwederman. Sent over right into the net by Lily Sunderhouse on the error, and Coldwater's got the advantage here early in set number four. So instead of yogiisms, we're going to go with Garrettisms. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not even that bright, John. I, I, you wouldn't want to follow anything I said. Bertke, Sapp. Somehow able to get that one to sidewind down inside the line. And Miley Sapp's got three kills here in this set number four. That was a great job of Peyton Berkey keeping that ball on side on her side of the net. It was going over the net, and uh, she got it just before it went broke, broke the plane. Amelia Lutz serving for Salina. Right down that far line, and it's the ace. As well, it should be trading leads again. Seven to six. It's been tight for all four sets, really. Salina's opened up leads a couple of times. Coldwater's battled back, and they've got the one-point advantage here in set number four. And we're tied again after the serve goes long from Lutz. That was a great look by Spencer Etzler there on serve-receive here, seeing that, that ball was going to go long. Mia Kanapke on to serve. For Coldwater. Evie Holstad blocked. Allison Schwederman chases it. Sent right back to her, though, by Kendra Clooney. Onto the floor and down. It's an 8-7 advantage for Coldwater. Kendra Clooney leading the Coldwater team in blocks. Did it again. Dug out by Salina. Brooklyn Bourne blocked. Peyton Burke able to chase it, but the ball hits the floor for the Bulldogs. And Coldwater with a two-point lead in set number four. Timeout called will step aside as well. Coldwater 9-7 advantage here in set number four on WOSN. Cavaliers with a 9-7 advantage here on WOSN. It's set number four. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside John Dornick, bringing you all the action here between these two Mercer County rivals as Mia Kanapke's serve set. Tipped over by Miley Sapp. Kanapke sets up Spencer Etzler. Etzler, she tries to cut it, and it just goes wide, and it cuts the lead to one. I didn't think Spencer was uh, looking for that. She hit it off one foot instead of her normal approach. Allison Schwederman serving for Salina. Kanapke, back set, tipped over, dug out by the Bulldogs. Etzler, big swing, big kill. You always get a big swing out of Spencer Etzler from that uh, left outside. She gets the ability to put some heat on it. It's, it's got some mustard coming off of it. And she'll serve it away. Cross court. Burke King. Born. Long. And the point goes to Coldwater. Coldwater up three. See if they can stay on a little run here or whether uh, the Bulldogs can take it back. Etzler serving once again for the Cavaliers. Deep into that back row. Schwederman. Born. Dug out by Etzler. Kanapke, big swing from Lawyers, rejected by Ava Kanapke, and the point goes to Salina. Just amazing, Garrett. Some girls just have that uh, timing issue where they can jump up and block the ball better than others. And Ava Kanapke, who leads Salina in blocks, I think it's safe to say she's got that ability. Kanapke, swung on by Madison Wendell. And that'll make it 12-9 Cavaliers. Madison hit the top of the tape on that, and I think it threw uh, the timing off just enough for Lily Sunderhouse so she couldn't get it. Cavaliers send it away. Set, Bourne into the back row. Kanapke, quick set, dug out by Schwederman. Berkey, Bourne, saved by the Cavaliers. 
Molly back and forth. Berkey to quick set to Ava Kanapke. Off the Cavalier, off the wall for the point. He cuts the lead to two, excuse me. Twelve to ten to score. It's Brooklyn Bourne. Approach, serves, and she gets the ace as it goes between the arms of Rachel Schroyer. Just like that. John, we've had a bunch of one point, <laughs> one point uh, situations here, but we're right back to it. Salina trailing by one. Bulldogs right in the middle of that cold water defense. They try to set up Loigers. Blocked. Swing from Wendell. Bertke over to Lutz off a of Cavalier. Dug out by Etzler. Swing by Loigers. Quick set. Sent right back to him and down. Beautiful job there by Jenna Lugers there. She blocked the ball, came right back up. She put it back down on the floor. 13-11 the score. Cold water with a two-point advantage and serving. Jenna Loigers. Born. Schwederman. Ava Kanapke. Schroyer. Quick set, tipped over, pancaked up by the Bulldogs. Bourne sends it over. Set, swing, kill for Morgan Blasingame. Nobody wants to let the ball hit the floor here, Gary. Everybody's uh, working very hard. We're sticking out feet, knees, whatever you can get to keep that thing off the floor. Both squads playing hard here in this non-conference matchup. Ava Kanapke swing. Blocked by Riley Rissmiller. Bertke. Lutz off of Rissmiller and down. Amelia Lutz again. You know, Garrett, it used to be you couldn't play the ball anywhere if it hit anywhere below your waist. And now you can kick the ball. You can do anything with it as long as you keep it off the floor. Jenkins, the surf. Tipped over off the antenna and down. I can remember. Uh, I, Full transparency, I went to Parkway. We won two state championships when I was just a very young pup where, man, those games took forever when you could only score when you were the one serving. Whoever got in the ear of uh, whoever's making the decisions of, maybe we could make some changes to this thing. Uh, just get a steak dinner or something because <laughs> the rally scoring and uh, other changes. High school volleyball sure is fun, man, as the swing is down for Morgan Blasen game. She gets the kill, making it 15-13. Garrett, all these changes are predicated by uh, international volleyball. They make the changes, and it works its way down to collegiate level, then to USA Volleyball, and then to the National Federation. Well, I don't know if they'd be interested in a steak dinner or not, but I would love to buy them one. As Miley Sapp sends one, dug out by the Cavaliers. Big swing there from Spencer Ratzler. Over to Lutz, sent right back to her by Rissmiller. Bertke, the set, Lutz once again tips it over and down. 15-14, Salina cuts that lead to one once again. Berkey serving. Schroyer. Swing. By Blazing Game. Berkey the quick set. Sap. Blockeroni and cheese from Blazing Game. Gives them the two-point advantage to the Cavaliers. A set up very nice there, uh, but the, end, the way the set was coming and the way the setter was at, only one place it could be set, and that was at the middle. Morgan Blasen game. The serve, back set, blocked, and a point goes to Coldwater. Coldwater has that three point advantage again. 17 14. Blasen game. Dug out. Berkey to set, swing from Holstad, big kill by Evie Holstad. Cuts the lead back down once again. Evie Holstad, the 5-4 outside hitter going up against the 6-5 Riley Wristmiller out there. Evie Holstad won that battle. Swing by Lutz, tipped back down. Nope, still in play. Lutz the set, Berkey, swing from Sapp, blocked 
by Spencer Etzler. And a lead back out to three for Coldwater. Lily Sunderhouse back in this, the game for um, Amelia Lutz. Dug out by the Bulldogs. Bertke, back set, swung by Holstead, saved by the Cavaliers, and it hits the floor. Nobody home for Coldwater, and this lead back down to two. It's one of the things Coach uh, that's what he doesn't want to see. Another unforced error there by the Cavaliers. And just like that, the lead's back down to one. Salina, the lead, and they'll serve, excuse me, trailing by one, and they'll serve. Schwederman, dug out by the Cavaliers. Set, swung on, saved by the Bulldogs. Bourne sends it to the middle of that cold water D. Tipped over by Exler. Bulldogs keep it alive. Bourne blocked. Schwederman pokes it right back up in the air. Bourne sends it over. Swing by Lawyers. Blocked by Ava Kanaki, but she sent it wide. A little delayed call by our line judge there. <laughs> Sent over, hit on the biceps by the Bulldogs. Born, blocked, and down. That's a big block there from Kendra Clooney for Coldwater. And a timeout call. We'll keep it here, 2017 the score. Coldwater with the commanding lead here in, uh, commanding lead is a bit strong, but they've, they've really kind of held serve here in this fourth set. Once they got the lead, they've, they've been able to keep it between, you know, three and <laughs> three and one points that Salina hasn't ever gotten just back enough to, to tie it up. Yeah, that's just kind of swung around from what it was in uh, the previous sets, you know, where uh, the Bulldogs would go out to a lead and the Cavaliers tried to fight their way back in here. That was a good time out by Coach uh, Bangy here trying to uh, get things settled down, just trying to find out. And, and it looks it looks to me as if you know Salina, especially out of timeouts and at the starter sets, they 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 are they are full of energy. They are leaping, they're diving, they are getting you know big jumps on their swings. And then as the set kind of progresses, um, because they're playing so hard defensively, you start to see you know just a few more. All right, we just got to get it over, and we'll we'll try for a big swing the next time, um, and, and we'll see if that stays up here after this timeout. But. The, the effort that both squads are playing with tonight here, John, is, is unmatched. We'll see how they pass the ball coming out of here. We've got Spencer Edsler, their uh, Coldwater's best server. She sends a knuckleball right into the middle of the floor. I don't think that's what uh, Coach Bangy was expecting uh, that hard. They were expecting the hard serve, and uh, Spencer Edsler uh, backfired on them. 21-17, lean out to four for the Cavaliers. Edsler, the sophomore. Bertke looks to set up Ava Kanapke, blocked, saved by the Bulldogs. Bourne sent it right back to her on the block from Madison Wendell. And Coldwater inches that lead out to five. Nope, they'll say it's out. Coach Etzler saying that ball was in. So the point goes to Salina. Instead of it being a five-point lead, it's a three-point lead. Both these coaches aren't afraid to express their opinion, and then they just go right back to coaching. Bulldogs send it away. Mia Kanapke to set. Swing. Poked back up into the air by the Bulldogs. A nice save made by Sarah Gieske. Tipped over. Pancaked. And a prolonged contact called against the Bulldogs. It's not a lift. I'm getting an education. Prolonged contact call against Salina. Allison Schwederman, set by Burke. He tipped over by Ava Kanapke. Mia Kanapke to set. Swing. Poked high up into the air off the heating duct. And the point goes to Coldwater. So Jenna Luggers gets the kill for the Cavaliers. 23-18. 
as they look to close out set number four and force a set number five. Bulldogs Easy. need this. Bulldogs get a point there as Eva Kanapke gets the kill. Sorry to cut you off there, partner. Oh, you're fine here. You feed the ball to your uh, monster up front there. Eva Kanapke put the ball down. They needed a point. She got it for them. Bulldogs need a couple here to remain alive in set number four. Brooklyn Bourne serving. Schroyer off of her in the ace to Salina. Makes it 23-20. No quit in either of these teams. Brooklyn Bourne looking to serve once again. Into that back left corner. Mia Kanapke set. Swing. Blocked. Schroyer sends it up. Tipped. Saved. Bulldogs got to get it over. Burt Keat does. Dug out by Etzler. Set from Kanapke. Tried to send it down the line. Did Jenna Loyers. Ball is still in play. And they'll say that Allison Schwederman went over the center line. So that will give Coldwater set point. <laughs> 24-20. And that Coach, will give Jenna Loigers the serve. Coach Banging just wanted an explanation from the R2. Just what she called. Loigers the serve. Set from Berkey. Kanapke off the fingertips of a Cavalier. Etzler the set. Loigers dug out by the Bulldogs. Berkey over to Lutz. Long and Coldwater wins set four. It's like we're going to five, partner. We'll step aside, come back with the all-important fifth set upcoming. Both squads, two games apiece. We're coming back with set number five here on WOSN. The all-important fifth set upcoming here on WOSN. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside John Dornick, bringing you all the action here. From Salina as the Bulldogs and Cavaliers locked in a tight one. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And John, we got here to set number five and only played a 15 in set number five. And so that kind of ratchets things up a, a little quicker than it does the other four. Yeah, the coaching philosophy changes just a little bit here. You know, you take timeouts a little quicker. Substitutions might go a little differently here. Um, looks like they've got Miley Sapp come off the floor. Libro's in there, see how we start out. Sarah Gieske serves for the Bulldogs. Ava Kanapke to block for Salina. It rolls down the net, and the point goes to Coldwater to begin set number five. Kind of a joust right there at the net right off the bat, and uh, Coldwater wins that one. So one nothing Coldwater. So we played a 15 in set number five. Etzler serves, pokes it. Oh my goodness, what Great a serve. serve, but a great save by Gieske for Salina to poke it up into the air. Swing from Bourne, down! Oh Brooklyn Bourne a kill. You can't imagine what kind of a save that was by Sarah Gieske there. That's a big play by Sarah Gieske, the defensive specialist, to poke that ball back up in the air and even give Salina a chance. That was quite the serve by Spencer Etzler and Sarah Gieske just got it right back up where they could play it. Brooklyn Bourne serves. Kanapke to set, tipped over by Wendell. Dung out by Salina, rolled over and down. Coldwater adamant that it's out, Salina adamant that it's in, and the point goes to the girls in white. Brooklyn Bourne serves. Swung on by Loigers. Set, Ava Kanapke got it over, and a double hit gives Salina a 3-1 advantage. When you played a 15, John, do those two-point advantages feel like, you know, six-point advantages and a, and a set to 25? It's a two-point lead for Salina, 3-1. to one. Brooklyn Bourne, the serve, Atzler. Dig, Kanapke, swung on by Wendell. Poked back up. Berkey to set, Lutz the attempt. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Swing, blocked by Kanapke. 
Another swing. Dug up. Sent right back to him. Off of Salina and down. Brooklyn Bourne tried to get her mitts on that one, but it goes out of play, and it cuts the lead back down to one. That ball would have been very close to going out, but I'd sure rather watch my player play the ball than watch him drop in. Ball dug out by Salina. Burke over to Lutz. Down the line, off of Cavalier and down. Make it 4 to Salina on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Good assist by our camera woman there. <laughs> She's got a couple of close calls here tonight that uh, that ball's been rocketed this way just a, a moment or two as Sarah Jenkins, Samantha Jenkins, excuse me. She's been in harm's way. Makes the serve. Kill attempt for the Cavaliers. Quick set. Miley Sapp tips it over. Off of Cavalier and down. And Salina leads by three in set number five. There we go. There's that quick timeout here. You can't let this one get away. We'll step aside as well. Break any action. Salina leads 5-2 in set number five on WOSN. Salina with the 5-2 advantage here on WOSN in set number five. And they'll serve it away. Samantha Jenkins doing the honors, a defensive specialist for the Bulldogs. Long serve, and the point goes to Coldwater. We talked earlier in the match, John, about you know errors and unforced errors and things like that. They become just that much more magnified in this fifth set. Uh, Surf off the scoreboard. That's a good, great serve by Jenna Luters. So we're right back down to the a line. One, one point game. We've talked about it all throughout the match. A one point game. Coldwater trailing 5 4. As Jenna Luters will serve once again. That's why these two teams are 10 and 4 and 12 and 3. There's no give up. Sent right back. Of Riss Miller miss hits. And it's 6-4, Salina as that ball just hung there for a moment, and she's disappointed in herself, but looks like a Christmas ham to a starving man when it's hanging there that long, isn't it? She saw Peyton Berkey moving over quick. Get a, what's the call here? Um, Miley Sapp in the net. Okay. So Miley Sapp is called for that net violation. 6-5 the score now. Salina still with the lead. Coldwater serving. Berkey, Bourne will roll it over. Sets up a big kill there by Morgan Blasingame. The quick set and down. And we are now tied at six. That was a great serve on that time. The setter's coming out of the right back and they serve the ball right down the right sideline, making it tough. Cavaliers will send it away. Madison Wendell serving that ball. Burt King sets to Sap. Saved by the Cavaliers. They'll get it over. Bourne, Burt King over to Lutz. Lutz dug out by Coldwater. Wendell will send it over. Burt King, the set, back set to Holstad and down. Evie Holstad, the kill. 7-6, Salina the one-point advantage as we play to 15. That back set by Peyton Berkey set up the whole play there, only allowing Coldwater one single blocker up there. So a one-point advantage for the Bulldogs is Amelia Lutz, dug out by Schroyer, set, swing by Blasingame, set right back over, but it's long by Brooklyn Bourne, and we're tied at seven. Neither, oh, so, sorry, John. Just one to. I almost caught that. <laughs> <laughs> As Coldwater takes the lead on the service ace and a timeout called by Phil Bangy, the Salina head coach. We'll keep it here at an 8 7 advantage. And, and John, neither, kind of uncharted territory for both squads here. Neither squad in their last eight games has played a fifth set. So, uh, and, and as hard as you've, you've played here, uh, you're st probably starting to feel, feel the effects of being in this fifth set, aren't you? 
Well, I think they've conditioned well during the off season and even to the French side that I don't think five sets, if it might bother you and I, but these uh, 15, 16, 17 year old kids, I think uh, they're still up for the action. I don't know that there's enough timeouts in a volleyball game to get me through set number one, let alone <laughs> getting to set number uh, five. And I'm certain I wouldn't play as hard as uh, some of these ladies out here on the court tonight. They are uh, giving it their all, and we've seen it here in this fifth set. Tied several times, and now Coldwater with a one-point advantage on 8-7. to seven. Let's see how Salina reacts after that timeout here being down one. Cavaliers will send it away. Schwederman, Bertke, Holstad, blocked and out. So the point goes to Salina, tied once again. Makes the coaches look smarter than me <laughs> when they can girls come out and perform like that. Schwederman, Etzler with the dig. Nice pass. She'll give it right back, but it's blocked by Ava Kanapke. Huge block there for Kanapke. Gives Salina the lead. Schwederman. Rolled over by Coldwater. Brooklyn Bourne off of a Cavalier. Still in play. Etzler. Blocked by Ava Kanapke once again. Ball's over. Berkey will send it over. Tipped up. Coldwater able to get it across. Berkey, the set. Bourne, the attempt. No. Berkey sends it over where nobody's home. And she finds a hole. I think we were awful close to a back row attack on that play. Peyton Berkey is in the back row. And took that ball and attacked it over the net while it was above the height. Bulldogs lead by two at 10 to eight. And we talk about that back row attack there, John. That, uh, is that one of those, um, you know, you get in the, the fourth quarter of a football game, you don't want to call pass interference unless you're absolutely certain that it's, or, you know, it's, if it's going to be a strike three call, it better be a, in, a, in a tense situation that it's just one of those you're, you're maybe a little bit more hesitant to call? I'm sure the officials uh, looked at that and they might have thought that the ball was might not have been completely above the height of the net, but uh, it's close. I don't know, she didn't get much help from uh, her R2 on that play, so... Uh, We'll just uh, leave it go at that. I don't think Coach Etzler uh, complained a lot, but I don't think Coach Etzler complains a lot about too much anything. So Salina, a two-point lead, playing to 15. They lead 10 to 8. Allison Schwederman sends it over. Cavaliers, Etzler gets it over. Dug out by Schwederman. Bertke, back set to Holstead. Still in play and now down. Evie Holstad to kill, and the lead grows to three. Schwederman again. Nice serve. Etzler. Gets it just wide. And the lead. Etzler might want to time out here. 12 to eight, the four point advantage for the Bulldogs. Schwederman serves once again. Etzler the dig. Swing by Clooney. Blocked. Etzler gives it over. Bertke. Over to Bourne. Back set to Rissmiller. Blocked. Out. Point to Coldwater. I think Riley Rissmiller hasn't played many sets this year. I think she's getting her timing back now. Mia Kanapke will serve for Coldwater. Cuts it down the line. Bertke, the quick set to Ava Kanapke. She climbs the ladder, gets the kill to make it 13-9. Sarah Gieske comes on to serve for Salina. Leading 13-9, trying to get to 15. Etzler the dig. Set. Big swing by Coldwater, but nobody's home in the backside. Brooklyn Bourne gets the kill to give us match point. Taking it over on two there. I don't think Coldwater was quite ready for that ball. 
So match point for the Bulldogs at 14-9. Gieske, the serve, sent high in the air, set, swung on, off the wall, and a kill goes to Coldwater. Good answer for the Cavaliers there. Believe Morgan Blossingame gets the kill for the Cavaliers. Lead to four, 14-10. Now, Spencer adds a little serve. For the Cavaliers. Bertke, born, saved by Coldwater. Match point, swung on. Schwederman digs it out. Born tips it over. Saved just barely by the Cavaliers, and it's over. They get it back into the net, and Salina wins a five set thriller 15 to 10. What an outstanding match tonight, Garrett. Both these teams played their hearts out, left everything on the floor. So Salina will move to 11 and four. Coldwater drops to 12 and four, but the Bulldog ladies are thrilled with their five set victory over the Coldwater Cavaliers. Final thoughts here, John, on this just fantastic high school volleyball match. Uh, these were two good, two good teams. Uh, Coldwater playing a little bit bigger school here, but uh, there was about the same amount of talent on each side. Anybody could have won this match here tonight, and it just so happens tonight was the Bulldogs' night. A back and forth affair sees Salina fall in set one and set four, but they take two, three, and five. The final 15-10 in set number five. So for our fantastic WOSN crew and John Dornick, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long from Salina. Bulldogs victorious in five over the Coldwater Cavaliers tonight on WOSN.